let's work on part B now. So we have to show that the following expression is also an indefinite integral of the function. So we're going to use the same logic. We're going to expand this expression. And when we differentiate, we have to prove that we go back to the original function. So let's do that. Let's write it over here below. So in part B, we have the following. In part B, we have e to the power of x plus 1 to the power of 2. So e to the power of x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 2 times e to the power of x. Let's see what that is. So if we open the brackets from the first term, we have e to the power of x to the power of 2, e to the power of x to the power of 2 plus 2 multiplied with the first term, e to the power of x, and with the second term, so times 1. Then plus the second term to the power of 2, so plus 1 squared minus 2 times e to the power of x, so minus 2 times e to the power of x. Now let's open this, I mean let's expand this a bit. e to the power of x to the power of 2, we have the base, we raise it to 2 powers, it means we multiply the powers, so we have e to the power of x times 2, which is the same as 2x, plus 2 times e to the power of x, 2 e to the power of x, plus 1, minus 2 times e to the power of x, so minus 2 times e to the power of x. What do we notice here? Again, we can cancel out something. 2 to the power, sorry, 2 times e to the power of x minus 2 times e to the power of x go away. What we're left with is e to the power of 2x plus 1. Now, with the same, with the same method, we're going to differentiate this antiderivative to see if we go back to the original function. So what is e to the power of 2x plus 1 derivative with respect to x? Let's see. We have e to the power of 2x derivative. That's going to be the first term. So it's e to the power of 2x derivative, which is e to the power of 2x times the derivative of the power because we're using the chain rule. So 2x derivative with respect to x and then plus 1 derivative, which is just 0. So we can add a 0 over there. What do we have as a result now? We have e to the power of 2x multiplied with 2x derivative with respect to x, that's just going to be 2. In other words, we have 2 times, 2 times e to the power of 2x. And that is, again, the original function f of x. If we compare it over here, that's 2 times e to the power of 2x. So we just prove this one more time. Now let's solve part c as well. Show that for all x, it holds that these two expressions are not equal. So let's do them one next to each other. Uh, let's write them over here. Let's write them over here below. So we have in part C the following. We have in part C. We will compare. We will compare e to the power of x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 2 times e to the power of x. And on the other side, we have e to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of uh, sorry, 4 times e to the power of x. Now what we can do, we can already use what we calculated in the previous videos because so far, even right now, 2 minutes ago, we calculated what is e to the power of x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 2 times e to the power of x. And this expression over here, we found out the result that is e to the power of 2x plus 1. So we could write it. That's e to the power of 2x plus 1. Over here we have e to the power of 2x plus 1 and the other expression the other expression we solved in part a so if we go above over here to part a we saw that the result of that expression over here is equal to e to the power of 2x plus 4 so that's e to the power of 2x plus 4 let's write it e to the power of 2x plus 4 now to prove that this cannot be equal let's take the same terms on the same sides so e to the power of 2x and e to the power of 2x. If we take this over there, we're left with e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of 2x. And over here, we're taking the numbers on the other side. So 1 goes over there and we have 4 minus 1. Now, what do we have? We have e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of 2x is 0. And over here we have 4 minus 1, which is 3. Well, 0 is clearly not equal to 3. And since these are the results, when we started with the following expressions, they cannot be equal. So that's the proof that they definitely will never be equal. Hope this makes sense and we are done.